I'm the father of Natalie Ranan and my ex-wife Judith Ranan. Uh, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time, for two weeks. I haven't been sleeping for two weeks. Tonight I'm going to sleep good. I spoke with my daughter earlier today. She sounds very good. She looks very good. She was very happy. And she's waiting to come home. Her mother has a little scratch on her hand, but she told me it's nothing. She's okay. I spoke earlier with President Biden. I thank him for his uh, concern, for his uh, helping with the release of them. And uh, he was very, very nice. And hopefully I'm going to see them next week. Next week is Natalie's birthday on the 24th. And we're going to celebrate her birthday here in my home. First of all, I got a lot of uh, pictures from the TV in Israel. They showed, the, uh, they showed the release of them. And uh, later I got a phone call from the IDF. They told me they're going to meet them. And then they're going to call me. After they met them, they called me. And I spoke with my daughter then. It's the worst, uh, the worst uh, situation. I did not sleep at night, and uh, my head always been in Israel. Lots of phone calls in Israel, lots of TVs. I've been glued to the TV for two weeks, hoping for any good news. Finally, it came. I'm so happy you're finally coming home. We've all missed you so much. We hoped you were alive and safe, and we know you're so brave and strong, and that's how you and your mom made it through this. I don't know, I love Natalie so much. I have faith in the world, I have faith in peace, and I want to thank everybody who was involved in bringing them, bringing them back safe. I, I cannot express how happy we are. I, I think it's the best day of our lives. Yeah. Natalie and Judith, we love you so much, and we couldn't wait to see you here. We're going to see you hopefully next week, and we're going to celebrate, we're going to have a big party, and we're going to hug you and kiss you. and. Uh, we're just gonna, this is a small joy in our family, but hopefully for all the other hostages and all the other families, just keep praying and hopefully good news will come.